Welcome to a new Monday morning routine. It's Coffee with Strangers with Kelly Lemon. Hey, it's Kelly, and today we're at the Virginia State Fair to ride the Ferris wheel with Daryl Watkins. Daryl's no stranger to in an aerial view. His company, Creative Dog Media, went from a side hustle to one of the premier aerial photography companies in RVA. Out at the Virginia State Fair, Coffee with Strangers once again. I love these new little mugs, so I want to get it in the shot as much as possible. Who are you, and what do you do? in Richmond or surrounding counties. My name is Daryl Watkins and I own Creative Dog Media, aerial photography firm primarily focused on the central Virginia area. I love downtown Richmond, Richmond in general, but uh, we go everywhere. When you see dope shots of Richmond, your name is usually on it. We yeah. license, uh, license images and video footage. Uh, we also go out and shoot uh, actual projects. So if someone wanted, for example, the State Fair, they want the, the State Fair shot, then you hire us to go do that. How'd you get into this? My mom chased me with a camera a lot. I can remember everywhere we went, yeah. I was getting my photo taken. Just because I was a kid and she loved cameras. Fast forward 20 plus years and I have kids, two daughters of my own. Early on, I was chasing them with a camera. So it just became natural. I've never really pursued it as anything other than a hobby until I flew a drone one time at a, at a neighbor's barbecue. And before I'd landed it, I knew that I could make money on it. You just said, let me buy this helicopter uh, uh, camera and, and see what I can do with it. I bought it with the mindset that I could grow this into something um, into something that was recognizable. To be out somewhere, or even to have buddies that fly drones as well, for them to be out somewhere and to be told, are you Creative Dog Media? Oh! That's a great feeling, yeah. I love that. <laughs> do you drink coffee? I do, uh, okay. my beverage of choice is a latte. Latte, yeah. okay. Every okay. once in a while in the summer I'll go ice latte, but for the most part it's uh, just a regular latte. Where are you from? I'm originally from Roanoke, Virginia, Star City of the South. What brought you to Richmond? I worked for one of the cellular carriers in Virginia Beach mm -hmm. and was promoted uh, to come up here and run the business markets uh, for that company here in Richmond locally. 05, you said, right? That's 05, yep. It's a little different. One of the best parts about Creative Dog Media has been how much more of Richmond I've uncovered because I continue to go out and try to challenge where can I where can I find that I've never been and it's been great not just for me and for Creative Dog but uh, for my family to, to get a better feel for what what what's in Richmond. Real quick the Virginia State Fair runs through Sunday October 8th and it's just a quick trip up 95 so head on up for games, rides, animals, agriculture and of course fried dough. Now back to the wheel. Where do you rest your head? Where's your family at? What part of town? In Glen Allen. In Glen Allen. Yep. Okay. Why did you all choose that part of town? We didn't want urban okay. just because we both come from a uh, kind of a suburban background. And How are y'all living in Richmond with the family? We do a lot of uh, a lot of walking and hiking. We have two dogs, two labs. Mm -hmm. We do a lot at uh, Pony Pasture. We go to uh, Tredegar and Browns Island a fair amount. Uh, we love Carytown. My daughters have two teenage daughters. They love Carytown and the you know the, the food scene here is for a, an old suburban guy. It's uh, pretty good. Last three places that you ate. The daily at Short Pump and all the the new locations the new convenient one. to us. Yeah. Casa del Barco is mm -hmm. one of my not just Richmond favorites, but one of my all-time favorite Mexican restaurants that I've ever been to in the world. Wow. What do you think right now that Richmond is not taking advantage of? Get outside. Go yeah. enjoy Go enjoy the river. Go enjoy the waterfront and the, the city and the urban environment. I mean, it's a, it's a great city. Friday night, the girls are gone. The wife is gone. Daryl has the house to himself. What are uh, you doing? Driven downtown somewhere or even to Monument Avenue area, somewhere other than Glen Allen, mm -hmm. no offense Glen Allen, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, to get ready to go shoot something. Okay. And then I'll grab some good food and bring it back and hang out with the dogs. Tell me a couple of images that you never thought would turn out amazing, and they did. One of my favorite places to shoot is the uh, it's called the train bridge, and people know it as uh, also the CSX A-Line bridge. I can go to that bridge and shoot it seven days in a row uh, at the exact same time and get something totally different. And all new ideas will hit me. How do I want to fly it? How do I want to go? Do I want to fly really fast under it? Do I want to pull away and show the city and the skyline? Um, it just, it, that place never ceases to amaze me. When you go out of town and someone says, what is Richmond? What's your elevator speech for Richmond? Richmond is a great little city. It's not what you know as you drive down 95 from DC. Richmond's a great, 
waterfront city that has great food scene, uh, awesome nightlife, great beer, uh, and lots of land if you want to live on the outskirts. To hear the rest of my interview with Daryl, check out the Coffee with Strangers podcast in your preferred podcast app. Subscribe to this channel on YouTube and visit coffeewithstrangersrva.com to subscribe to the newsletter. Oh, and get to the Virginia State Fair before it ends Sunday, October 8th. Okay, see you soon.